Hi my lovelies, today we are going to be talking about 10 BL characters who are fiercely jealous, possessive, crazy and very very insecure about their lover. These men constantly fear about losing the person they care about. Their overwhelming desire to possess and protect their lover can be clearly seen in their actions. In this video, I am going to be highlighting some scenes and actions which show how jealous these men can be. So without further ado, let's get started. We cannot talk about jealous men in BL without mentioning V at the top of the list. V is definitely the biggest red flag in the whole of the BL world but he's also the cutest, hottest and sexiest red flag who is so innocent that he doesn't realize that he is a red flag and just thinks that the world is full of injustices and everybody is out to hurt him. V started to get jealous as soon as he slept with Mark and even though he was in a relationship with his girlfriend since the last 3 years, he couldn't help but be overly protective and jealous towards Mark. He also hated that Mark was friends with B. Nua and he was super insecure about the fact that Nua was also rich like Mark and he literally was the definition of a green flag and perfect boyfriend material. Whenever V hurt Mark, Pinua was always there to comfort him and lend him his shoulder. Mark is me cause no matter how toxic V was, I wouldn't be able to resist his charming face and hot body. I get you Mark, I get you, don't worry. Opposite to V, Togawa is not a red flag, he is in fact a green flag but he has this intense need to protect and prevent his boss Nozue from every single male or female interaction. Nozue is obviously Togawa's supervisor so he cannot directly act possessive and jealous towards him so he often shows his jealousy in his passive aggressive comments and by always looking out for Nozue and making sure that he is always watching over him and not letting him get into situations where other men and women can flirt with him. For example, he hated it when Nozue was invited by his boss to a singles mixer. He hated it when women in the office gossiped that he was the most eligible bachelor and they wanted a chance with him. He went to a singles mixer with Nozue and absolutely loathed it when one of the girls was flirting with him. Togawa also prevented Nozue from drinking alcohol from his colleague's cup and took him away immediately. Segasaki and Yo are both jealous people. They are obsessed with each other to the point that any third person that dares to enter their world becomes a threat. But Segasaki is more aggressively jealous. Yo might just sulk or drink or act too clingy when he's jealous but Segasaki goes into demon mode when he's angry and jealous. He tracks Yo's movements, he forbids Yo from going outside or meeting anyone other than him. Caught in a web of desire and jealousy, Segasaki also ties him up to teach him a lesson. Honestly, whatever Segasaki does is hot as hell and whatever he does just shows how much he loves Yo and how his love for Yo sometimes becomes all-consuming and he loses all sense of reality and logic. Kin and Porsche are both super possessive and jealous towards each other and while Porsche's possessiveness exudes innocence and playfulness, Kin's jealousy simmers with a dangerous intensity threatening to consume them both. Their relationship is a volatile cocktail of desire and insecurity, with Kin's aggressive jealousy casting a shadow over their every interaction. He harbors a deep-seated resentment towards his cousin Vegas, whose attraction to Porsche ignites Kin's fury. Kin's jealousy knows no bounds and he lashes out at Porsche with scathing words and hurtful accusations that are meant to assert his dominance and control. Due to past trauma, Kin is afraid that whoever he falls in love with will end up betraying him and so his previously broken heart always ends up casting a dark shadow over his current relationship with Porsche. A is a soft dom. He can be really really sweet but he can also get triggered sometimes and then he can be a little bit scary. A embodies the delicate balance between tenderness and intensity. To A, Pete is a fragile rose petal, a delicate masterpiece to be cherished and protected. But as the guardian of this exquisite flower, A's love knows no bounds and his possessiveness can be as sharp as thorns. So whoever tries to approach Pete is met with A's wrath. A is a gentleman but he also loses control when he sees Tin's face so close to Pete. 
He pushes Tin away with force and drags Pete into the locker room and then we all know what happens there. A can't even hear a man's name coming out from Pete's mouth. Remember when Pete was talking about Tin and Can, A got so jealous that he dragged him to his room and tossed the salad with him? No, because I should have literally put Guhe on the top of this list. Guhe is the OG king of possessiveness and jealousy. Guhe absolutely hates anyone and everyone who tries to get close to Bai Luoyan. He hates that Luoyan's childhood best friend Yang Meng is so close to him and knows more about his family dynamics than Guhe. He goes absolutely mental when Bai Luoyan's ex-girlfriend Shi Hui returns and plays tricks on Luoyan. This is not shown in the series but Guhe ends up doing unspeakable things to Luoyan in front of the ex-girlfriend just to show her that Bai Luoyan belongs to him and that the girl should stay far, far away. Guhe is also insanely jealous of his cousin Gu Yang because Gu Yang has an unhealthy infatuation towards Bai Luoyan. Tin is not just jealous and possessive towards Chan, he is extremely insecure and can't help but compare himself to Chan's ex-boyfriends. He thinks that he is poor and isn't worthy of Chan's love and affection. Despite Chan's reassurances and expressions of love and affection, Tin struggles to believe that he is deserving of such love and devotion from Chan. The scene at the club where a random guy flirts with Chan and tries to take him home, Tin grabs him by the waist and takes him in his arms. His touch is possessive. He silently declares to the stranger that he has ownership over Chan and at the moment not only Chan finds him extremely hot, all of us do too. Also, after they sleep together for the first time, Tin keeps asking Chan if his performance was better than his exes. Chani is the epitome of jealousy and possessiveness. The fact that he himself doesn't know why he feels such an intense possessiveness for ID makes him all the more intriguing and complex as a character. Despite his inability to fully comprehend the depths of his jealousy and possessiveness, Chani's emotions consume him and he can't help but try to keep ID only for himself. He thinks that he is in love with his boss and his feelings for ID are not love but only care for him as a childhood friend. But at the core of Chani's jealousy is a deep-seated fear of losing ID. His fear manifests as a relentless need to control and possess ID. As if by keeping them close, he can shield himself from the pain of potential loss. Whenever ID is with anyone else other than him, he always appears out of nowhere and takes ID away with him. Jivu is the most silently jealous man you will ever see in BL. He knows how beautiful and dazzling Sojun's smile is, so he absolutely hates it when Sojun smiles for anybody else other than him. He knows how charming Sojun is, how full of life and amazing he is, so he's afraid that anybody who interacts with Sojun will end up falling for him. He battles with his own demons, plagued by the relentless fear that someone else will steal Sojun away from him, despite knowing deep down that Sojun's heart belongs to him alone. In the quiet moments of the night, when the world falls silent and Jibo is left alone with his thoughts, his fears threaten to overwhelm him. He wrestles with his own inadequacies, struggling to reconcile his deep love for Sojun with the crippling insecurity that threatens to tear them apart. His inability to break free from his dark thoughts lead him to a destructive path where he ends up running away from Sojun and hiding in hopes that Sojun will leave everything and everyone and come back running after him and give him all his time and attention. If Jivo is the silent jealous type, then type from Than type is the loudest, most brazen jealous type. His jealousy knows no bounds and he's unapologetic about it. Type's insecurities and fear of losing Than drive him to extreme measures, often resorting to physical force and verbal reprimands to assert his dominance and mark his territory. When someone dares to approach Than, Type's protective instincts kick into overdrive. Whether it's using intimidating body language or even resorting to physical altercations, Type makes it clear that Than is his and his alone. He monitors Than's behavior closely quick to reprimand him for even the slightest hint of friendliness towards someone else. Remember when Than's ex reappears into his life and flirts with him in order for Type to declare out loud that Than only belongs to him? 
Type falls right into his trap and in his anger confesses for the first time to a third person that he is in love with Than. So these were 10 of my favorite jealous men in BL. Let me know other jealous characters that come to mind and I will compile another video like this. See you next time. Bye.